America West. We fly with pride, we care for you. America West. We fly on wings so bright and blue. Chicago, three nonstops every day. The most nonstops to New York. Baltimore, Washington, nonstop. The East in a big way on big luxurious 757s. America West, what we serve is you. How did a one hub airline in the desert come to dominate the airline industry in the United States? Now you might be thinking this is a story of Southwest Airlines, but rather this is a story of an airline called America West. Now the story of America West started in 1981, when the CEO Ed Bouve founded the airline and later began commercial service in 1983 with their fleet of three Boeing 737 leased aircraft. Now the airline saw success and rapid growth for majority of its early days until trouble surfaced in the early 90s. America West had to operate under bankruptcy when they began their restructuring. They began by selling some of their aircraft such as the Sound 47200, they dropped some of their unprofitable routes, unionized their flight attendants and also shuffled a few of their CEOs. They also introduced a new livery and branding, retiring their old aircraft in favor of more modernized planes and then applied for a few loans. Now fast forward to 2005 and they were one of the few airlines that stayed strong during a time when the airline industry was at its lowest in the post 9-11 era. Now the efficiency of restructuring that they went through a decade prior resulted in them being more suited to deal with the challenges of the market than their competitors. Now during the second half of 2005, America West decided to take a chance to overtake the bankrupt US Airways with a reverse merger. Now a reverse merger is when the purchasing company takes on the brand of the company that they're purchasing. In the case of America West, this means that they would incorporate US Airways into the America West organization. When the reverse merger was complete, America West fired most of the US Airways executives, moved into their corporate headquarters and merged most of the operation systems from US Airways into their business. They gave the new US Airways a white livery, so the previously dark blue planes would not become faded in the Phoenix Sun. Now to honor their America West history, they also decided to keep their call sign of Cactus. It may have appeared to the casual observer that US Airways had taken over America West even though the opposite had transpired. Now the following years were quite shaky to say at least. All of the challenges at the time such as the 2008 economic recession, the rise of low cost airlines such as Spirit and Allegiant, dampened air travel demand and high fuel prices were really taking their toll on the airline industry. Almost all of the established carriers such as American, Delta and United were hit the hardest. As a result of their shrewd restructuring, US Airways was consistently ranked as the worst airline for customer service. Airline management celebrated to make any profit during that time. Financial struggles at Delta Airlines would entice US Airways to make a bid for the merger, but it was opposed due to being treated as a hostile takeover. Now fast forward to 2012 and US Airways began expressing their interest in taking over the now bankrupt American Airlines to which the CEO of American stated that they were open to the merger. Now this required approval from the bankruptcy judge which was successful and the merged airline would keep the American Airlines brand. Then on the 14th of February in 2003, the two airlines announced that they would merge to become the largest airline in the world. The CEO of US Airways, Doug Parker and most of his executive staff would maintain their positions at the top of American Airlines and the former CFO of America West would manage to rise to the top of the largest airline in the world. The headquarters would be condensed into the current American headquarters located in Fort Worth in Texas. The call sign of Cactus would also be retired and eventually the last US Airways flight took off as US Airways 1939 the flight number as a homage to the airline's starting year and it landed as American Airlines Flight 1939. Now this saw the end of an airline that contributed immensely to the aviation market and it laid out the foundations of the American Airlines as we know it today. It's an airline which many people don't know of but it had a positive impact on the way we travel, especially in the US. So guys I'm curious to hear what you have to say about this. Do you have any knowledge of America West? If so, then share it with us in the comments below. I also want to thank L1011 TriStar and also Nicholas from my Discord server for collecting the information for this video. So thank you so much for that guys. 
Now, captains, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to catch you guys very soon.